Why would we gather on a day like today? As we've heard John's gospel, what is the purpose of hearing this story year after year? The betrayal, the suffering, the shame, and the death of our Lord Jesus Christ in full, clear detail. It's easy to be filled with anger at the betrayal of Jesus, to be frustrated with Peter and his denial, to be filled with rage at Judas the betrayer, to be angry with the priests and with Pilate who ushered Jesus towards Golgotha, to be angry with the soldiers who cast lots for our Lord's clothes, nailed Him to the cross, and pierced His side upon His death. Are we here this evening to cast judgment on them and their sin? Or maybe, because of this event with its ferocity and violence, it can also bring strong emotions of grief and sadness within us. Are we here this evening to weep? To cry at the pain that Jesus suffered? And to sympathize with the man who performed miracles and loved the marginalized as he is crucified by the empire while well, many of his closest friends and followers scattered? It certainly is an appropriate emotional response, especially when we continue to gather, bound but together by the love that Jesus extends to us. So that's it, right? Then we are here to shed some tears and be on our way. No, we don't gather only for sadness, for rage, or merely for our own sake of being together. We join together this evening to remember the passion of Jesus Christ and to contemplate our own sin in falling short of God's command. Jesus was crucified, and with it took each of our sins to the cross, each thorn in his crown, one fashioned from our sin, each nail driven deeper by our own nature and turning away from God's vision for us. We are reminded in our contemplating of Jesus' suffering, what the wages of sin look like on full display, a death like Jesus suffered. That when ultimate love entered into the world to share God's full love with all people, all of humankind, the structures of this world moved to snuff that love out to reinforce the worldly order, and to reject God's revelation. This is not to cast judgment on one over another, but to be reminded that we all exist within this human order. The order that seeks to have us contemplate these sins, realize the judgment that we deserve, and succumb to the paralyzing fear of sin. The order that would have us compare our sins with one another and to be comfortable with putting ourselves over someone else. in our contemplation of Jesus' time on the cross. We are reminded that on that day our sin was banished forever, that God's love, mercy, and grace is all-encompassing and fuller than anything that we can imagine. That God's Son on the cross, washed away our sins and brought us into deep 
covenant with God. No, we are not here this evening to contemplate our sins so we can condemn ourselves. But we are to be reminded that God lets those sins go. That the ledger is empty with Christ. And that we can live into our relationship with God and with one another. We contemplate our own nature so that we can be reminded of God's immense overflowing love and friendly heart that continues to be with us throughout our time here on earth and gives us the gift of eternal life. God's power cannot be contained by sin, by death, or by anything that would separate us from God's love. God is fully present in our lives, and this death is but a seal that nothing would keep us away from God's love, that the sin cannot bear us from God. And in Christ's strength, we find our own strength to go out into that same world that condemned God's ultimate love and we can spread that love further. To challenge where God's love is kept back and show God's love to those who are afflicted by the ways of this world. No, we gather this evening not to be condemned by our sinful nature, not to cast judgment on someone else, or to merely weep at the suffering of our Savior, Jesus. We gather today to be reminded of our humanity and our need for God, to consider God's act of selfless love, and to be steeled together as one community as we continue to be vessels for God's love to all, wherever we go and in whatever we do, spreading God's love to everyone. Amen.